So this exercise is a seated dumbbell shoulder press. One thing you'll notice when you're in a seated piece of equipment, they're usually built at a 10 to 20 degree angle. So when your client is sitting back with your head back in position and you're pressing up, you're gonna be pressing at that opposite angle to make your vertical push. The nice thing about having a piece of equipment, it gives you proprioceptive awareness that you have good neutral alignment. The head is against, the shoulders against it, we have a nice neutral lumbar curve and the knees are sitting at 90 degrees. As the client starts to press, they're gonna go on a vertical line. We wanna be able to see the ear behind the arm at the top range of motion. Another guideline you could use is the hairline. As she's pressing up, we can see that her arms are moving along the hairline. One common error we'll see is someone pressing too vertical. So as they press, their arm actually blocks their ear. This can lead to, some, to an impingement on the AC joint, okay? And this is not an optimal movement pattern. Another common error we'll see is when they're pressing is that they're going too far forward and now you can actually see their eye or their nose in front of there. And this is actually putting a lot of strain on the shoulder as well as they go through the movement. A common error on a seated dumbbell shoulder press is loss of neutral spine. So as they're pressing, the arms might be in a very good position, but what you'll see is that the thoracic spine will start to bend and there'll actually be a lot of room through here, losing neutral spine. There are two ways we can spot this shoulder press exercise. First one is from the elbow. So as she is pressing, if we start to see signs of fatigue, we can just cup the elbow, add some stability, and assist with lifting through the range of motion. Another way to spot this shoulder press exercise is from the wrists. So as she's pressing, if we see any signs of fatigue or the dumbbells are not moving in an optimal movement pattern, we can come in here around the wrists and help with lifting the load.